What's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out this video. For those of you that have been keeping up with the series, this is episode 4 to 5 unmarked secret locations around Fallout 4. So, to start this off, I'm going to be showing you guys a scavenger shack, I guess. It's randomly in the woods, way out here on the map. But before we head to that area, literally right by the place that we're going to be going to, you will notice this area where there's a bathtub with a pillow inside it, uh, along with some, uh, uh, along with some junk that you can loot here as well. Now then, the scavenger shack is literally right by this. Something kind of interesting about this place is the scavenger himself, if you slowly approach this place, you will notice that he starts yelling things at you, and he's pretty much saying, the loot here is mine, I found this place first, it's mine. Get lost, I found it first. So yeah, um, when you approach this, get ready for a fight because he will fight you for his territory, just like a dog. But once you take him out, he will have some loot on him. And also there will be loot around the shack area that he found as well. Okay, so up next is just a random trader out in the middle of the woods. If you head to this location right here on the map, you will find this nice looking home right by this little dried up pond. I love the scenery here, it looks great. And not to mention there will be loot around in the shack, but you will have to steal it because the trader owns this place. And also you will notice that the trader has some junk on him. You can kill him to get whatever he sells and what he is wearing as well. I like that sea captain hat. I don't know what it was, but I had to take him out. But anyways, you can actually spot a cat here too, so it looks like this trader was a uh, cat owner. Yeah. And of course there's crops out here as well that you can harvest. And if you go this way, there's actually a grave out here right by this tree. I have a feeling that the trader buried this person, whoever this person might be in this grave. But we can tell that they liked smoking cigarettes because there is a cigarette carton on top of the grave and they also liked baseball because you can see the baseball cap in this wooden crate right next to it along with some other random generated items inside this cooler. But that's about wrapping up this trader area. You can explore more yourself if you decide to come here firsthand. Up next on this list, I have you guys a military armored personnel carrier, and it's literally right next to Sanctuary, out in, once again, the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately, there isn't much loot that you can get here at this armored carrier. It's still a pretty cool place to see. Some people might not even realize that this was even in Fallout 4, because this was details that were added, but weren't marked on the map. And a lot of people actually do just pass up the details that aren't marked unfortunately but yeah that's about it for this area up next i have for you guys a pretty awesome location you'll actually get a power armor out of this place as well there's actually it looks as if a military cargo was on their way to drop off this power armor somewhere but it looks as if the transportation had failed because as you can see the train is detached from the railroad now there is also some loot that you can scavenge outside of the train but the main area to go to here is right inside here. If you unlock this terminal, it'll actually unlock the cage where the power armor is located at. So there you guys go, some easy power armor to collect. And by the way, there's also an abandoned house that I suggest to check out right next to this cargo. If you head over here inside, on one of these scavenger bodies, you'll actually find a note. The note that you collect will lead you right to where the loot that you should pick up at Bedford Station pretty interesting little find. Lastly up on this list though I have for you guys a buried stash that you can collect. If you head to this location right next to this Concord water tower you'll actually find a stash that has been half buried into a grave. So why not go ahead and scavenge this easy loot. But I guess that's why I'm wrapping up these five unmarked locations. Hopefully you guys found this enjoyable and if you did please remember to take a little bit of your time and leave a like. It's greatly appreciated, everybody. The support continues to help my channel grow, and for that, I can't thank you all enough. But this has been your rifle, and as always, remember to stay safe out there, everybody. And of course, try not to sleep in pee. Peace. 10 Creepy Locations in Fallout 4 Number 10 This place is an unmarked location in Concord, and it's not too difficult to find. When first entering on the first floor, you will notice some skeletons.